It is a great joy to be here. The, the rare plants garden, I think, is, is exceptional. Wow, the International Horticulture Expo is, uh, is so ambitious. I can't quite get my, my head around. The Royal Botanic Gardens, Kew, commonly known as Kew Gardens, is a world-famous botanic garden located in London, England. Kew Gardens is not only a place of beauty and tranquility, but also a scientific center for plant research and conservation. On October 15th, Richard Davario, director of Kew Gardens, along with his delegation, paid a visit to the International Horticultural Exhibition 2024 Chengdu and the Chengdu Botanical Garden. They engaged in discussions on biodiversity conservation and delved into Chengdu's vision and tangible steps towards becoming a park city. Q estimates there's about 350,000 species of plants around the world. Perhaps 40% of those are at some risk of extinction. So in our lifetime, we might see a very significant proportion of all the plant life on Earth threatened with extinction. So I think it's very important that organizations like this at Chengdu and Q and others around the world are working to understand plant diversity and to protect plant diversity for future generations. From the UK government point of view, we are looking forward to working with Chengdu and our partners across Southwest China on a range of areas relating to biodiversity and national parks. Climate change was identified as one of those global priorities in which the UK and China can and should work together and I look forward to working with colleagues, with partners across Southwest China to do our part in this part of the country. Q is very proud of its partnerships with China. We've had a long-term partnership with the Chinese Academy of Sciences for more than 20 years and I hope with Chengdu specifically we can do some more work on plant collecting trips in Sichuan. It's very pleased to hear that you are a park city because nature is very good for people. It's very good for people in urban environments when they don't have access to nature. With the hibiscus in bloom, I think it's a wonderful environment. It's great to see so many people and families here enjoying the environment. And I would urge anybody in Chengdu or in wider China to uh, visit botanical gardens, visit national parks, enjoy the natural environment that the country has to offer.